I'm Adrian, and today we're taking an in-depth look at Blade's fighting style in his cinematic trilogy. The first Blade film is a landmark in so many ways to the superhero film genre. Many critics attribute the first true modern superhero film to either Sam Raimi's Spider-Man or Bryan Singer's X-Men, but before those two films were released, this gem of a movie premiered way back in 1998 and turned an obscure comic book character into a pop culture icon. Some people attribute the rise of R-rated comic book films to Deadpool, but once again, Blade ventured into this territory with no regrets in 1998. But the reason why we're taking a look at it today, as well as his two sequels, is because of what it did to the concept of a superhero fight scene. Never before had people seen something so authentic, real, and effective. This is because they cast a man who was not only an actor, but an extremely accomplished martial artist. Wesley Snipes didn't just learn a couple moves for the scenes in his film, he knew these fighting styles. If you're a fan of action films and video games, I highly recommend subscribing to my channel and watching my other videos, as I've already analyzed other awesome superhero fighters including Batman and Captain America. But today, we will be focusing exclusively on Blade. The goal of these videos is to figure out just how many fighting styles our combatant is familiar with by analyzing the specific moves featured in their films and pairing them with the martial art or fighting style which most aptly represents those moves. There's a huge amount of crossover in martial arts techniques and a technique that is present in one fighting style may also be present in another, such as a roundhouse kick being present in multiple martial arts. But in order to not give combatants multiple fighting styles for the sake of variety, I have instead opted to list the most apt fighting style that best represents that particular technique or set of techniques. Also, there are various degrees of knowing a fighting style, and although one may know elements of something, this doesn't mean I'm saying the fighter I'm talking about is a master in every style I mention. This video will analyze the fight scenes featured in Blade, Blade 2, and Blade Trinity. Fighting styles that Blade may know in the comics or any other form of media do not count. Without further ado, let's take a look at how many fighting styles Blade knows in the Blade trilogy. As mentioned earlier, Wesley Snipes is an accomplished martial artist. He's been training in martial arts since he was 12 years old, and currently has a 5th Dan black belt in Shotokan Karate, as well as a 2nd Dan black belt in Hapkido. He also has experience in several other martial arts and has been trained by Grandmaster Steve Mohammed. This was the man that Bruce Lee himself said had the fastest hands he had ever seen. Blade 2 is also populated by an all-star stunt team. Wesley Snipes was a fight coordinator. Donnie Yen, a martial arts legend in his own right, played one of the characters and was one of the fight choreographers of the film. Another one of the fight choreographers was Clayton Barber, someone who went on to work on films such as Black Panther and most recently worked on season 2 of Iron Fist. He's a Taekwondo champion who won several tournaments in the 80s and 90s and happens to be one of the people who trained me while I was practicing Taekwondo at USC. An important part of Blade's fighting style, told to us by Wesley Snipes in an interview, is that Blade fights mathematically. He assesses the situation and then tries to end the job as quickly as possible. Mr. Snipes got this from what he learned about fighting from Grandmaster Steve Muhammad. Putting that into context with his fighting scenes, it makes complete sense. You always see Blade execute each movement with precision and style. He never hesitates and always seems to be a step ahead of his enemies. When you're dealing with vampires, this is especially important. The most prominent style that can be seen in the Blade movies is one which Wesley Snipes himself is most familiar with, and that is Shotokan Karate. Remember how certain martial arts like Kung Fu and Ninjutsu are known as umbrella terms due to the fact that several styles are within them? Karate is an umbrella martial art as well. Probably the most popular and widely practiced style within Karate is Shotokan. Shotokan Karate is characterized by three parts in its training. The Kihon, or basics, Kata, or forms, and Kumite, or sparring. Linking this back to Blade, we can see this when he executes moves such as this strike to the neck. Notice how the striking area was between the thumb and fingers. This technique is known as a Yubi Hasami in Karate. Various elbow attacks are also seen in Karate, such as the ones he executes. He also performs a knife hand strike and a back fist. Furthermore, he frequently changes his stance during fighting. That move right there is seen in several katas within karate and taekwondo as well, the theory being that you want to move as efficiently as possible. Probably the best sign of his training in Shotokan is how he punches. As you can tell, when he punches, he pulls the other arm backwards, getting it ready for the next punch. Karate also has a very good variety of kicking techniques, but Blade is so familiar with them that we start to venture into the territory of Hapkido, the other martial art Wesley Snipes shows mastery in. Hapkido is a very eclectic Korean martial art that shares many similarities to Taekwondo, but incorporates several techniques from other martial arts including joint locks and throws to make it a more well-rounded fighting style. Lots of its techniques are dedicated to blocking attacks with their legs, and Blade demonstrates that concept right here. He trapped the shotgun with his leg and then executed a hook kick. Here he demonstrates a fighting stance very similar to Taekwondo, where you want to minimize yourself as a target so you stand off to the side and jump up and down to keep yourself light on the feet. In this instance we can see another Hapkido counter, followed by an excellent Karate Hapkido Taekwondo style punch. 
Furthermore, Blade is an extremely skilled kicker and demonstrates mastery in several advanced kicking techniques that make use of his vampire strength. These include the side kick, the spinning side kick, the flying side kick, the spinning crescent kick, the spinning hook kick, and the Yes, he is one of the lucky fighters who knows the kick that has many names across many different styles, the push kick. Please see my Thanos fighting styles video for more info on that particular kick. Kung Fu, much like Karate, is also split into several different branches, and the two that we see Blade demonstrate time and time again are Wushu and Shaolin Kung Fu. Wushu as a term actually means Chinese martial arts, and sometimes Shaolin Kung Fu also means Shaolin Wushu. I know, it's confusing, and this is usually why I don't dive that deep into it. The specific Wushu we're talking about is one which is seen in sports competitions. Wushu has an emphasis in large, graceful, and quick movements during demos. In the second film, Blade jumps and kicks into a ludicrously impossible move right here. And though the CGI hasn't aged that well, it's essentially a reference to Wushu. Wushu also specializes in wielding a large variety of weapons, so whenever you see Blade wielding a weapon in the series, whether it be a straightforward one like a sword or a baton, or a slightly improvised weapon like this shovel, the techniques still remain there and are the foundation in his movement. Shaolin Kung Fu is one of the oldest styles of Kung Fu. It's comprised of Chan and Quan. Chan being the religious and philosophical side, and Guan being the martial side. Forms also make an appearance in this art, and there are several styles within the massive umbrella that is Shaolin Kung Fu. One of the techniques taken from Shaolin Kung Fu, and extremely emphasized in Wing Chun, is trapping. Let's take a look at Blade to see him demonstrate this. Notice how he curls his fingers around the block to hit, and holds it as he continues his barrage of attacks? That act of momentarily immobilizing an opponent's limbs to give you a brief opportunity to strike while he cannot is called trapping. Also pay special attention to how Blade moves when he's counterattacking. He very frequently uses plenty of rapid fire techniques that successfully immobilize his opponent. As to why we know this is based around Shaolin Kung Fu rather than Wing Chun Kung Fu, Wesley Snipes has confirmed that himself in an interview. Next up, we have the Japanese martial art of Aikido. In Aikido, the goal was to create an art that practitioners could use to defend themselves while also protecting their attacker from injury. Now, it can generally be a little difficult to tell the difference between Aikido and Judo since there are so many techniques that cross over into one another, but a big tell is wrist manipulation. Aikido has a huge emphasis in manipulating the wrist in order to cause the opponent to flip over, roll out, or simply collapse with almost no effort at all. Blade himself is a fan of using this concept, and throughout the films we can see him using the wrist as an excellent fulcrum to flip his opponents over. Staying with the arts focused on throwing and grappling techniques, we have Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Once again, the reason why I can definitively say it's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and not Judo is because Wesley Snipes has stated it himself. Although Brazilian Jiu Jitsu does have a heavy emphasis in ground combat, it still is extremely versatile in executing throws and counters from a standing position as it is heavily influenced by Jiu Jitsu or Japanese Jiu Jitsu. In Blade's case, he frequently uses the arms of his opponents as leverage, countering their attack whenever he can by redirecting them. Whether it's just a punch or a tackle, he can always successfully reroute and defuse the attack. Furthermore, he's a fan of using the guillotine choke. For more information on the choke and how it works, check out my How Many Fighting Styles Does Lara Croft Know video. We also see some Salat when it comes to Blade. Salat's philosophy is to basically kill the enemy before they kill you, as known for being very quick and violent, something which is readily demonstrated in the excellent film The Raid. Notice how similar Blade moves to Rama right here. They both aren't afraid of crouching in the middle of the fight and striking the lower areas of the body. Elbow and knee strikes are also frequently seen in Salat, and Blade is very fond of using them as well, as he frequently finds himself in fights which are very close quarters. This elbow strike right here is actually completely illegal to execute in UFC tournaments. It is known as a downward elbow strike, or a 12 to 6 elbow, for how it resembles bringing an elbow down from the 12 o'clock position to the 6 o'clock position. As to why I attribute these advanced elbow and knee techniques to Salat as opposed to Muay Thai, Wesley Snipes specified that Salat is one of the many martial arts we see in the series. In a blink and you miss it moment, Blade even demonstrates some knowledge of capoeira with this kick right here. Capoeira is built on the foundation that you can drive so much force into your techniques if you use the ground as an ally to propel yourself. It's why the roundhouse kick is shot from the floor. It's called a martelo de negativa. Very similarly, in this case, Blade leaves his arm on the floor and draws strength from it to execute this capoeira technique seen here. A move I was surprised to see in this series is this incredible pro wrestling technique right here. It's called a brain buster in pro wrestling, and it's executed when a wrestler puts their opponent in a front face lock, 
and lifts him as if they were performing a vertical suplex. The wrestler then falls onto their back, slamming their opponent down in a very dramatic fashion. Blade also uses a couple toys while he's out vampire hunting, and as you can tell by his pinpoint precision and throwing those weapons of his, he's extremely familiar with the art of Shurikenjutsu. Shurikenjutsu is the art of throwing blades and other small weapons, such as the legendary shuriken seen in every ninja movie ever. Furthermore, Blade is very skilled in throwing his boomerang-like glaive, which easily slices his opponents and returns to his grip in no time flat. Blade sometimes uses his modified pistol to quickly execute vampires. He's very skilled with this weapon, and it fits in perfectly with combat shooting. In combat shooting, competitors go from target to target trying to be as accurate as possible, with a big emphasis being in refining one's technique for situations that would arise in combat. The United States Marine Corps actually uses their stages as ways to train for things like long-range accuracy, movement, and transitioning between guns. As to why I'm including weapons training as a fighting style is because it forms a part of his arsenal with dealing with vampires. So in conclusion, how many fighting styles does Blade know in the Blade trilogy? They are Shotokan Karate, Hapkido, Wushu, Shaolin Kung Fu, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Aikido, Salat, Capoeira, Pro Wrestling, Shuriken Jutsu, and Combat Shooting. Which brings us to a grand total of 11 fighting styles! What do you think of the Blade series? What other characters should I analyze next? Let me know in the comments below, subscribe for more awesome videos, and see you next time!